Let's go. <laughs> Listen, uh, the way we use buildings is outdated. We have an opportunity to prevent climate change and save over 1 trillion euros a year. Making the change requires to understand our present behavior. Supersight makes for this reason computer vision technology to count people. My name is Kimo Pentikainen. I'm co-founder of Superside. We founders have been working together for years. Matteo just graduated with a PhD on new privacy preserving protocols. William, a zero entrepreneur, and Siri, a computer vision scientist previously at the Columbia University and Nokia. Did you know that 40% of all energy-related emissions are coming from buildings? And it is estimated that in the United States and Europe, only 31 to 36 percent of the office space is in efficient use and no exact data of each building is available. If we have that accurate data available, it would be billions of euro savings and reducing emissions on the level that would have a significant impact for preventing climate change. More broadly, that data would be needed, for instance, to reduce food waste. We have created a technology that transforms 5 billion recycled mobile phones to be smart sensors. Smart sensors to be mounted on the top of the doorways and do counting of people coming in and going out and it is 100% privacy preserving because all counting is done inside the phone and only numbers counted are collected uh, from the buildings. In eight months we've been creating the world's most accurate AI model in partnerships with the cutting edge research institutions. We have reached over 99% accuracy by training the model, AI model, on the Lumi supercomputer. Monthly subscription starting 1990 and our customers are already gaining millions of euro savings because that data is not available from access keys or meeting reservation systems. 48 persons of subscriptions been already converted for three years because our customers see the value and they are committed. There are 7 billion square meters of office space in the United States and Europe. If all pay the same as our present customers, that would be 12 billion euros a year. And we are not limited to offices. We can count people on any buildings, schools, sport facilities, and we are not even limited for counting people. We can count any objects on the manufacturing industry. We have created a technology that is 20 times more cost efficient than existing solutions. The world is becoming increasingly urbanized and we need better data to guide our decisions. Supersized journey will surely have a lot of challenges, but the team will solve them because we have created a culture where we can face the facts and work fast together. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Kimmo. Judges, final questions. Thank you so much, Kimmo. There was such an energizing presentation. Thank you. At the end. Really love it. Um, tell us more about your customers. Who do you partner with? Is it residential? Is it asset managers? And then tell us as a follow-up question, are they mastering the installation of all these sensors too? Do you have integration partners? Tell us more about it. I love it. So first of all, we started from offices because it's pretty standard environment. And then we are leveraging also for other environments. We already have a customers, for instance, schools. And um, so therefore, it's uh, B2B and B2G, our customers at the moment. Now, it's a mobile app to make it uh, simple. So the next thing while we are now scaling, should we make it as a freemium? 
to be downloaded from the mobile app store or should we go from a reseller approach? That's what we are testing now. I do have a question about the vision of the company. I think you were mentioning in the very end of your pitch that you're not only focusing on counting people, but you might also focus on counting whatever it might be, manufacturing processes. Fast forward five or six years from now, will you be a counting people company or something else? So we, we are a computer vision technology company, and we are at the moment utilizing those five billion unused recycled phones to make it on use and they will be in use in other areas than just counting people. Uh, at 19 euros 90 per month you are like below coffee budgets for just about any uh, B2B <laughs> or B2G. I, like actually it's like microscopic uh, pricing. Uh, can, can you tell us about your unit economics? Yes. I love it. So uh, now the pricing is uh, scalable. So you can have it for one month with 199, or you can commit for three years and having 400 counters with that lowest price range. Secondly, as I indicated, um, the cost of the recycled phone is as low. This is, for instance, been in use, and it's 40 euros we've been paying. Top of that, uh, the cost of the mobile data subscription, three years, five years. That's it. It's about 90% our cross profit. We are profitable at the moment. What's the immediate savings for the customer? They use the space better or they can rent space out or, or are you looking for more verticals, how they can monetize this data? Or? Yes. So now a typical customer, 9,000 square meters, they pay a year, four million. and guess what? Only one third is utilized. We are now targeting for big organizations who has uh, thousands of persons and no idea what is the utilization at the moment. Now, keeping in mind the macro level, United Nations is predicting that in 2050 only half of the buildings is now made. There is an opportunity. Any other questions? There is still time for one. Yeah, so uh, I still don't quite get it in the sense that it's one thing to map the people, it's quite another to do change management with regards to utilization of space. How does yes. that actually... I, I love it, that question. So first of all, you have to know that what is your utilization rate. Usually if you have over 1,000 persons, you have several buildings, several lease uh, management of those buildings, leasings. Then you cut off, that's what our customers do, and put people to one building, for instance, to get it to 80%, for instance. Yeah, and you have a lot of savings. Okay, thanks a lot, Kimmo. Thank thanks you. for the great pitch. Love it. <laughs>